Okay everyone, this is my Kinex calculator I built that I finally got around to filming. Okay, just to say a few things here. Evan got this idea from me, not the other way around. Second, if this thing uh, fails miserably and kind of doesn't calculate correctly, that would probably be my fault. And uh, there was something else I was going to say, but I forget it, so I'm just going to move on. Okay, let's just start off real simple here. Uh, do um, 1 plus 1 equals 2. Okay then. Now I can do uh, even harder than that. Let's do 1 plus 4, which is 5, plus 5 again, which is a uh, you know, 1. Plus four up oh, there's one of my failures again. Now we want our result. So we just let that flip down and then you pull this back and you get your answer of two plus eight, which is ten. Uh hold on, I need some more golf balls. Okay. Now we're gonna do something even more complicated, which is uh twenty-two plus nineteen. Now twenty-two on here is represented by that was my fault again. Sorry. It has to be put in right there. Oh, come on. Oh, my bad. That would be why. Okay, 16. There we go. Fifth time's a charm. Or fourth, whatever, I forget. Okay, so there's 16. Plus 4. Plus 2. There we go. That's a... Uh, 22. Now, 19 is 1, 2, and then 16 again. Now we want our final result. You just clear those out. And then you pull back this lever, and you get your final result of 1, 8, and 32, which is 41. Okay, now to touch base on how this thing works. Let me grab some more golf balls and then trip over that chair behind me. Okay, this thing works. It's simple. You just put in one, say. Now there's a thing in the one's pocket. Now if you add another one, this thing will roll down, clear out the first one, and then go into the two spot. Now if you add to one again, you have to three now, then add one more, it clears out both of them and goes to four. Now I need to grab all my golf balls again. I'll probably be doing this frequently, so just get used to it. Okay, now that those are all back, let's do, uh, now that we have four, let's just do four plus four. Plus four, plus eight. Now, just a little simple mechanics. We put that in there. Now, to show you how this works, I would add another ball, but because it's easier not to do that, I'm just going to push this bar down with my hand, see, it's awesome. Now, when you push this lever, these that black and orange thing right there moves out of the way, then this ball drops down, it rolls down the ramp, down the ramp, down the other ramp, and then into the little ball bucket. Okay. Now, there's two bars on here that you use to get your results. First bar, see, you have a... That wasn't it. That bar... That wasn't even a bar, that's just one of the levers. That bar... is used to, once you flip it down, it's used to make those so that the balls don't roll through, and then you can actually see your answer. Then this bar... is for just pulling back, and those will hit that, and then knock those down into that rest in a simple mechanism. It's amazing. Look at my pants; they're awesome. And then um, you know, let's do this, and then you flip that back. Then that gets you uh, one. There goes a golf ball. And then you want to clear that out. Just do that, and it rolls down. Okay. Now, 
just because it looks really cool, we're going to do 63 plus 1. And 63 on here is one ball in every slot. So hold on while I do that real quick. There's one more and 32. Okay. Now we are going to first we have to raise that up. Lock that. Then you add one to it. So you just do that. Wow, I don't think that has ever happened before. That was actually the calculator's fault. Well, we'll just start off where it left off. It goes down, clears out everything. It goes into the 64 pocket. Now to get that out, you just poke it down. Get my golf balls back. Okay. Now this thing can also do some basic multiplication. Like if you wanted to do 2 times 4, what you do is you put a 2 in, and then you put another 2 in, and you put a 2 in again, and then you put a 2 in for the 4th time, and voila, you get your answer of, I don't know if you can't see that, I'll just pull that lever, of 8. And one more thing, this thing can uh, subtract see one two three four five six there we have a uh, 63 now we want to subtract um, 39 whatever so we just hit the uh, 32 and then the four the two and the one and to see what our answer is pull back the lever and you get 8 plus 16 which is 24 okay so that I believe is about everything here you can just get one look at the whole massiveness of the construction It's pretty. Then there's the that lever with its awesome mechanisms and stuff. Then those rockers all the way up. Big lever. Little lever. Okay. Okay. That is all goodbye.